G'day fellas, welcome to another episode of Outback Mini Models, it's Clem again, and what do we got today? We have the brand new sanding sticks by SMS. So, but before I continue and go any further, let's have a word from our sponsors. Tired of paying too much and not getting the quality you deserve? Do your models look sad and cry out for colour? Then look no further because here at Outback Mini Models we use and recommend SMS paints, tools and accessories for the modeler by the modeler. Click the link below to order online or find a stockist near you. SMS, the Scale Modeler Supply, Australia's number one scale model paint. What these are, are hard, nice sanding sticks. They're not really flexible. They're kind of stiff, okay? So, and we're going to try these out on this bit of, um, bit of plastic we've cut off. And I believe we're working on the Dragon Hummel. Yes, it's the Dragon Hummel. So, this is just a piece that I'm going to have to use later on anyway. So, and I'm not really ready for it. But we're just going to try it out on this and see how it sands. So what we have here is a three pack. This is the multi pack, okay? So you do, they do come in um, a three pack coarse, a three pack medium, and a three pack fine, okay? So, but what we got is we got a, a three grit mix pack. So we just wanna try them out and see how they go on their own. Um, and then from there, we can get more because we all love sanding sticks because I know I do but anyway let's have a look and the product number if you're interested is SND04 okay so these retail for about eight dollars seven ninety five here in Australia and well that's what I got them for anyway and I believe that's what they are on their website um, so mmm Australia it's an Australian product SMS I get I get a lot of people when I video chat or post the SMS products on various groups or even just on my own personal page here at Outback, they ask me, is SMS Australian? And my answer is yes, okay? So we support SMS here at Outback Mini Models because it's Australian, okay? <laughs> there's, there's nothing else to it besides that. Um, so Scotty Taylor, you know, a couple of years back said, you know, I'll, Let's, he's gonna help us out here at Outback, so. And so far, I haven't been disappointed with the stuff they bring out, so. It comes, once we open it, okay. It's stapled with a cardboard tag. And inside that is a resealable snap lock bag, okay. So, it's good that parts just don't come flying out. So you can always reseal them up and put them back in if you've got like a sanding stick drawer like I do, which is behind the camera, I've got just a drawer for brand new ones and one for um, just used sanding sticks I just throw in there. So let's have a look. All right, so do do do. Just trying to get rid of these staples so I don't stand on it. All right, so. All right, staples are off. Okay, so we have E3 sanding sticks and I also have the original sanding sticks here okay so there is a review on on my channel um, if you want to have a look go go back and check it out um, but I'll put a link in the description box so you can check it out what it consists of okay so these are their original sanding sticks okay so metal plate with adhesive um, sent, uh, sanding system that sticks on and then when they, they wear out you take it off and put a new one on okay it's simple as that but with these ones these are all one piece so you can't change them or anything so that's why they come in three packs if you decide to go with the fine medium or sand but if you're just curious to see what they are you know, it's worth just checking out their multi-pack and having a look okay so the and it doesn't say what grit they are um, it's it just says coarse, medium, and fine, okay? So their fine one is actually, mm, okay. So I wouldn't use these on their own. This is just by feeling them, okay? So 
because you do have their sponge, which is actually quite fine. Um, if I get through, yeah, I don't really have the numbers. I've thrown away the tag. I'll have to put something in, like I have to go back later and have a look and put them in the description or something. And, but yeah, that's their sponge. So you're gonna need this if you buy this, if you want a really fine, like to really smooth stuff back. But yeah, so, so let's have a look. Okay, so what I've done is, like I said earlier on, I've just cut this off the sprue, and it's it's dragon plastic, and it's, you can tell it's a quite an old kit, okay? So there's a lot of flash on here, so it's a perfect example of um, what to expect, and just general, general sanding, okay? So I'm gonna get these out of the way. You can see here, you can't, you can't really sort of get them mixed up. It's actually written here, coarse, medium, and fine, okay? So, so we're gonna, Push these out of the way, all right, and I'm going to show you here. So, I've left the sprue gates on to roughly cut them, didn't cut them hard up. So, just to finish them up, I'm just going to whack some whack my eyes on so I can see, and then I'm just going to bring you in a bit more. And all we're going to do is cut with my zero on clippers here, just cut it off. Cut it off, just mind the black paint. I was actually painting at work today. Boss goes, you're a model builder, you can paint. Can you paint me something? Yep, no worries. That's why I got black paint on my hand. All right, so I'm gonna carefully cut that off. And I don't wanna go too close to the actual plastic itself because I don't wanna bruise it or break it. All right, so we just cut it off like that, all right. And we're just going to jump in with our course, all right? And we're going to take the plastic back. So just like that. And then, and these don't really bend either, which is good. Like they do bend, but they're not. Not like some of the sponges out there, like they're really flexible. There's still a little bit of give, but they're, they're still very rigid at the same time. Which is the sanding stick I kind of like to use over the years. Right, so we just carefully shape it. And then cut just gently. And I'm not really putting a lot of force on this. I'm just letting the sanding stick do the work all right so we've got that down we're going to jump to our medium and this is the first time using these two for me so we're going to be sort of experiencing this together if if you haven't used these before yourself. And my honest opinion so far is actually these are quite nice. There's a, it's a nice weight. They're not like really, really like there's there's weight to it. There's, they're not really heavy and they're not like just weigh like nothing. There's like the tiniest bit of weight there and it feels nice. It kind of reminds me of holding a wooden ruler, like a, a 30 centimeter or a 12 inch ruler. Alright, so we do that. And then we're going to grab our fine. And I'm just trying, I'm just trying, like, trialing these and seeing how it, how it feels. Okay. All right. And if you really want to smooth it off, and there's a bit of extra here, just going back using their original sponge um, sanding stick, and just to finish it off, just to get those, take all the scratches off the plastic from where you've been sanding. 
and just let the, the sponge form itself around the part. Let's just take it off like so. All right, so mm, these are actually quite nice. Um, I'll definitely be getting more of these, I think. But I didn't buy the whole lot because if you stay tuned for the next video, you'll see what else we have. All right, so these are it. These are the new SMS uh, Sony sticks. And they've only just been released too. They haven't been out for that long. Um, I'm probably guessing a couple of weeks, if that. Um, give or take, or oh, probably slightly a couple of weeks. So three weeks, maybe a month, not even that. So, but yeah, what's my honest opinion on these sanding sticks? Okay, um, and I'm gonna give you my honest opinion too. Um, they're not too big, okay, which is a is a good thing. They're gonna handle any any big piece that you throw at it, especially wheels, lower holes, um, aircraft fuselages. Um, definitely this would be great if you're like a if you build like ships just huge plastic like it's like I said um, like I've got other sanding sticks here and this is just like a, a no-name brand but you can see how flexible this thing is and it just gives you know and then uh, yeah it's like I don't really I rarely use that one because it's almost gonna be ended up in the bin but with these with these SMS sanders <clears throat> Just because they've got something i think it's a hard bit of plastic or something in here i'm not too sure there is a description on their website but i'll put the link down below as well and you can also have a read um <clears throat> yeah so yeah guys check them out these are the new sms sanders so thanks for watching guys if you're new here to outback mini models as always don't forget to subscribe and if you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like it for whatever reason, give it a thumbs down and leave a comment down below on what you think. And so, guys, catch you later on the next video. This is Clem from Outback Mini Models signing out. Catch up. Bye-bye.